Hey everyone, today we're going to talk about Canva Interactive. Here are some interactive design ideas we can create in Canva. Interactive presentation, interactive whiteboard, and interactive landing pages. Number one, interactive Canva presentation. First, let's talk about interactive Canva presentation. Giving an interactive presentation is a great way to engage with your audience. So if you want to make your presentation more interactive, here's what you can do. Let's briefly talk about the process. On your home page, click on presentations and then choose a template that you'd like to use. You can find the templates under the design section on the sidebar. Say for example, this one. Edit your presentation however you like. You can edit the background, the text, and everything else. You can add or remove elements, and you can replace elements with other elements by going to the elements section over here. Simply type in what you're looking for and it'll appear. If you're looking for graphics, go to graphics. If you're looking for photos, go to photos. Once you're happy with your design, you're ready to present your presentation. So click on the present button over here and then choose a presentation option. You have four. Present, present full screen, present or view, present and record, and auto play. In my case, we're going to do present full screen. Click on present. And in order to make our presentation interactive, we're going to do something like this. Hover your mouse over the lower right of your screen and click on the interactive Q&A icon this one over here. Click on start new session. So Canva Live, start an interactive Q&A and let your audience join from any device. Click on start new session to get started. Copy your invitation link over here and share it to your guests or audiences. Also give them the QR code over here. Once they click on the link that you give them, or once they scan your QR code, they'll be able to interact with you and join your live presentation. Let's talk about interactive whiteboard. Whiteboard is a great tool in Canva that gives you a platform to collaborate and brainstorm on a project or other similar things. On your homepage, click on whiteboard Select a template that you'd like to use. You can find many templates over here. But if you like, you can always create one from scratch. Okay, so now we are over here. You can find some templates on the side panel under the templates category. Once you choose a template, you can click on it to be able to add it to your whiteboard. Edit your whiteboard however you want to. You can find some elements over here and basically just play around using the tools on the sidebar. So in order to start collaboration, you can click on share, select an option here. So over here, you can input the email addresses of the people you'd like to collaborate with so that they'll be able to have access to your um, whiteboard or you can also choose a collaboration link over here and instead of inputting emails individually you can select anyone with a link so that when you copy your link and send them to everyone those who have your link will be able to join your collaboration on your whiteboard and by doing so you can finally get started on your collaboration or brainstorming session. Let's do the third one. And that is interactive landing pages. With Canva, you can create interactive landing pages and here's what you can do. 
on your home page, click on Websites, and then select a template that you'd like to use. Edit your landing page however you want. Now let's create an interactive button. Click on the text of your button and click on the three dot button over here. On the drop down, select link. Or you can also simply press Ctrl plus K on your keyboard. And over here, input the link where you'd like people who click on this button to be taken to. I'm just gonna try a very quick example. And once you're done inputting your link, click on Done. Let's try to see if it worked. So I'm going to click on Preview. And I'm going to click on our button over here to see if it'll take us to the website we input earlier. And it did. We finally made an interactive button or a clickable button. And that's all for today. We hope you found today's video helpful. In case you need more Canva tutorials, check out our channel and consider subscribing. See you in the next one. Thanks for watching.